Okay, so we're going to solve this one for P. Um, so we've got PV on the left. That's actually P times V. And so to get P in its own, we have to undo multiplying by V. So how do you undo multiplying by V? Divide. Divide by V. That's all. If you divide this by V, you must divide this by V also, right? And these V's cross cancel and they make 1. So you actually have P times 1 over 1, which is just P, right? So you have P equals, and then just this thing, N, R, T, over V. Make sense? Cool, cool, yep. And um, uh, I just can't, I just cannot resist doing one example with numbers. If I had p times two equal to, um, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna imagine p is like fifty or something. So um, fifty. Let's see. That's four. Oh gosh. Uh, uh, no. Uh, Ten. Okay, n is 10, and, um, oh, no, I'm down to making it the same. Ah. Oh, just make something up, 4 times 3. There we go. Okay, so we'll see what p is when we get it, but it, it's 40 times. So p is actually going to be 60. Anyway, but um, so we notice if we had this exact same thing with numbers, I mean, this is this is actually just like 2p equals 10 times 4 is 40 times 3 is 120, right? And then, like, the 2p equals 120, be like, okay, that's easy, just divide by 2, right? And you get p equals 120 over 2 would be 60, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Right. But if we have numbers, we can... We can be a little bit technical, and we can just do this. And we can say, okay, the twos cross cancel. And now my P equals 10 times 4 times 3 all over 2, which is correct, because that's like 40 times 3 is 120 over 2 is 60. So, you know, that is correct. And so on. this is just an example with letters.